How to get past your lean angle barrier. The first thing to do, practice some low speed drills. Go to a cul-de-sac, go to a dead end road, find a bake or a church or a DMV or a school, and just do some low speed technical turns. If you spend some time practicing this, you will understand the tremendous benefits it has for you out on the street, and you'll get used to leaning the bike over very far because that is what is required in order to make these really tight technical turns. You could even push the bike down more on purpose, kind of like supermoto style, just to see and feel what that extreme lean angle feels like. When you get used to that, then you won't be so freaked out out on the public roads when you're going a little bit quicker because you're used to leaning the bike over so much more. And you have to understand, lean equals risk. So out on the public roads or out on the twisty mountain roads, I'm not trying to lean the bike over as far as possible. I actually want the bike to, lean to, to be leaned over as little as possible out on the public roads. Lean equals risk. If you have that burned into your brain, you're not going to try to want to lean the bike over as far as you can out on the twisty mountain roads. Additionally, if you take the same exact turn at a faster pace, your lean angle must increase. Otherwise, you're not going to make the turn. So as you gradually build your confidence, maybe your speed will come up with it a little bit and just know you'll be leaning the bike more naturally with better technique. However, if you really want to push harder and experiment with this, well, that's what courses and track days are for. If you don't have any courses or track days near you, then trying to lean more and more and more on the public roads, that's not the way to do it. So if you have some kind of a abandoned school or whatever else, that's really where to get comfortable with your lean angle. And keep in mind, I've been asked this a bunch of times. How do, I, how do I get past that barrier? Well, why do you think it's a barrier? Where did you come up with that? Is it just something you heard someone else say? But why do you think that is? Like, let's go to the basement level. What are you trying to do by leaning the bike more? Are you trying to go quicker? Are you trying to lean the bike over to take a picture going through the corner? Like, what is the actual purpose of you trying to lean the bike more? Because that will naturally happen if you go and practice, for example, my Moto Jitsu drills, you're not gonna make these turns without a tremendous amount of lean angle. So, so it'll come naturally with you. All the people that I know, especially here in San Diego, all my buddies that go and practice these Moto Jitsu drills and everybody else around the world, but especially the people here in San Diego that I talk to, they never have the question that I know of, hey man, I have a lean angle barrier I wanna get over because they already are leaning the bike tremendously far over practicing this stuff. So I think it's people that just have that gap. They don't practice these things or they don't take any courses. They don't go to any track days. So they're, maybe they're just on the public roads and like, oh, I, I don't want to lean the bike or I can't lean the bike or I'm afraid to lean the bike. If you're trying to ride effectively with very with, by also riding very efficiently, especially on the public twisty mountain roads, that lean angle is, the, is the, I'm not even worried about that. There's four fundamental things I recommend to get really, really good at before you start adding any icing to the cake. So these four things are the cake. Vision, throttle control, brake control, and counter steering. You could ride in the middle of the lane-ish, not even worry about too much line selection. You don't have to move your body much at all for street riding. I don't care if you're on a Harley or a sport bike. It's not the most important tool. But vision, throttle, brakes, counter steering, those things are like the fundamental four. You could ride extremely well. And if you want to ride very quickly, you could also ride very quickly just by mastering those four things alone. So if you're, it depends on what your goal is. And usually when I talk to people, when they say things like this, I want to get past my lean angle barrier. When I start asking them questions, it usually comes down to my buddies are going, they're leaning the bike really far. They're making fun of me because I'm not leaning enough. I'm not going as fast as them. You know, they take the picture last weekend of the guy in the corner, you know, I'm not leaning enough. I want to lean more. So it's mostly about other people and showing off or bragging or ego or whatever the hell it is. But I guarantee you, go set up the drills, go practice, lean the bike over as far as you can, try to get your foot pegs scraping on the ground on whatever bike you have, have a tremendous amount of lean angle in a safe, big environment, clean grab, like clean grip, right? Clean cement. There's no gravel everywhere. Take some dirt bike courses because in the dirt bike, you're leaning the bike over a lot as well. So this will naturally just go away. The, the answer to the problem is realizing the question is false in the beginning. You see what I'm saying? So how to get past your lean angle barrier? It, it's like asking, what is the smell of the color blue? It, it, it doesn't make any sense, right? It, the, the question will just go away when you realize it's, it's a false, it's all based on a false premise in the first place. There is no lean angle barrier if you go out and practice 
and do a variety of different things that will force you to get out of your comfort zone. So that's what I would say.